Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of Brave New World Blindfolded. So, now it's time to ascend Mount, Mount Zozo anyway. But first off I need to do this other crud that revolves around talking to, uh, what's her face, Lola. And uh, delivering the letter for her, otherwise it's not going to let me in, so. Left. This town isn't too bad just because it's so small. If it were larger, it would probably be very much more annoying. There's a thief guy running around who can get my way here, but... Funnily enough, I was just here off camera shopping for the crystal junk that I put on Edgar for the Siegfried fight, but that's obviously not the only thing I want this crystal stuff for. In fact, I really only bought the crystal mail for Celeste because she's not going to be equipping a shield during the Storm Dragon fight. So I wanted to make sure she had something crystal on to have that wind damage. However, that's worth. He almost never actually seems to use any wind attacks. By Wait. I'm not buying anything. Stupid. Like I said, I was just here buying crystal stuff, so... Yeah, that's why I felt the urge to do that, apparently. Right? Out the building. Now, I can't hold right immediately here, or else I'll actually get permanently stuck behind this guy. It's kind of weird how that works out. It's just a twist of faith, because I... Twist of fate, because... He can't actually step on the tile he was originally placed on, ever, so... He'll never go right or down from that tile, so if I run right immediately, he, he won't be able to run left either, and I'll just get stuck there permanently. It's kind of weird that way. So yeah, I have to take one step up to go down the staircase. One up, right. And now I should be running into Lola's house here. How exactly did I plan on getting in here again? That worked. It wasn't a plan, but it's kind of what the area looked like, so in my head, everything seemed to work out nicely there, so it doesn't really matter. Up to the flowers. And unfortunately, Cyan didn't make one more flower to place there, so I gotta back out one. Should have made more of these things, Cyan. Anyway, I run into this flower here, so I'm straight down from Lola at this point. So yeah, just now I just got a menu trick through this cutscene. Gotta do this for a couple different ones. Alright, so left one step, up one step. Now I talk to the letter. Because she couldn't just read the letter herself. Apparently she's illiterate or something. I don't know. Makes you wonder why a soldier's sending letters if she's illiterate, but that's beyond me. Alright, so now I run down, straight into this flower that I ran into earlier and helped me, but now it's kind of in the way. Right, down. Now I run all the way to the right. run all the way down to the bottom, and thankfully I don't exit the house yet, because I don't actually want to do that, otherwise I'd run down a staircase and be in an annoying position. I mean, I guess I could just re-enter the house. Never mind, it wouldn't be that bad. Left, down. Alright, now it should be outside. The NPC shouldn't be too close. One, two, three. Hello, birdie. You could be my avatar if, uh, certain someone from Insane Difficulty has anything to say about it. So yeah, kind of unnecessary for me at this point, since I obviously know the story already, but <laughs> on the other hand I gotta do it, or else it won't let me progress at all. Now it's easy to get out. It's actually more annoying to leave from the, from the armor shop by the other route. 
made it. That's the first mini soda out of the way. Not too bad, considering it was just a town segment again. One of the last, really. Alright, now for part number two. Walk into Zozo. I don't actually need to talk to the bird here for whatever reason, so... No reason to bother with that. Just go down. All the way to the left. I just had to do the scene with Lolo, Lola and Miranda. So this is kind of the same as before, just around the trash can. And now I just need to... Okay, so down. One, two, three. Now I run all the way up and I should run into this random person here. That's somebody important. Okay, so this is Gal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Not even sure if this is worth my time, but whatever. This is Edgar, surprisingly enough. He managed to go next. And now just Bio Blaster their face. I don't even care what these people do. Just do something. Seems that Acid Rain actually was not enough to kill them. That's a shame. I was hoping the two times damage would make it enough, but I guess Edgar's just gonna have to wipe them all with the Bio Blaster, reminiscently to the first time of how I came through here. Just keep running upwards, run into this random person here. Right one. So yeah, I, and going into this building is important because it resets the position of that merchant that I need to talk to, which is really nice because the position he gets reset to is right there. <laughs> so it makes it pretty much foolproof when often talking to NPCs is a major roadblock. Alright, so enter the menu again. Skills, uh, I think Gauss at the bottom. Magic. See ya! Alright, so that's the end of that mini-sode. Next time, next mini-sode's gonna be the real one where I actually go through the dungeon here. So, see ya on the back side of the map. Let's go then. So I've got everyone stacked up for Mount Zozo a little bit more. I actually paid attention to my equipment this time around, unlike when I was just running into Zozo and being like, lol, well, well, rust rid, whatever. Left. Battle right away. Doesn't really matter what happens to me in Zozo. In fact, this is a good time to get my cursor set up. This is either Gao or Edgar. What do you figure? It's Gao. That's not a surprise at all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Marlboro's pretty good for this dungeon, and luckily I happened to get it on the Velt. I obviously can't get every rage on the Velt realistically, but... Alright, set Edgar up as well with his Bio Blaster, and now I'm ready to go with my strat. Sounds like it's a Gigas at any rate. So, Marlboro's nice because Bed Breath doesn't depend on level, and Gao's level is lower than the others, at least. I'm not sure whether it could be considered low for here. That didn't do anything because I have Float. Alright. So now I'm all set up. I still, better make sure I'm at full HP. Skills. Down two to Sless. Sless, Magic, Cure. Only one cure, what a surprise, considering all I took was a single headbutt. So yeah, continue running right left. And now I walk around the garbage bin. There's my door. So now I run inside the building, but I run into the counter, so I gotta run around the counter. Alright, I can just hold A for the remainder of Zozo, really. I might as well not heal up, heal up until the end, otherwise I'll be uh, wasting a whole ton of MP on chump damage that isn't going to stack up and kill me. 
Oh no, a fire spell. Level 1 fire spell. What am I ever going to do? Another thing that's nice about Mount Zozo is the fact that once I get out of Zozo here, I will have a music change at the end of fights to let me know when I've exited the fights, because otherwise I have to menu trick every time like I do here. So yeah, running around the counter. Backward C. So far so good. Hopefully. Back one to get out of this crevice. All the way to the top. Now here's where I'll probably get another battle because I gotta go right and up until I hit the wall again. Oh wait, I've never actually done this before in Brave New World, have I? I did it in the BFLLG, I think. Starting to think that I didn't get an encounter after all. Well, anyway, left one to find myself up the doorway and down to actually exit the doorway. Now let's get, go to the door. There it is. There's my tincture. It's not worth a whole lot, but might as well grab it. It's along the way and whatnot, so. The reason why. The fact that it's not worth a lot is why I didn't get it earlier, but no reason not to get it now. In fact, I even walk into that room just because it's the easiest thing to do anyway, so. Barely have to involve any effort at all in that. Oh yeah, right, it doesn't make a noise. Alright. So, left and up. Here's where things start to matter a little bit more, what happens. And, oh yeah, I'm going left next, but meanwhile I should probably heal up my characters. Skills, less magic, cure. That probably still wasn't anything, but... There's a fight. Alright, so I want to select... If it's player 1 noise, I want to select 1 to the left. If it's player 2, I can just mash A. Speaking of player 2, there's a lot of those. Because often the scarabs are out in front, and attacking them is a waste of time. I'd much prefer to attack the dangerous Punisher enemies. So... Setzer takes a lot of damage, but at the same time... If they attack Setzer, they might get a f bunch of man-eaters in the face. Because he's got the black belt equipped. So... At least that's a bit of a consolation prize. Skills, Sless, Magic, Cure... Still didn't need that much. Hopefully left and up still carries me to the top, right where I intended it to. And I didn't mix something up there. Fortunately, I'll get an indicator in like two seconds, so... Down. Left. Not good timing, thanks. All oh, these poison attacks do so much damage around here, because the Scarabs have low magic defense and everything else is weak to it. Flash Rain, unfortunately, probably also does some amount of damage, but I don't know how much because... I never saw it once in my test run where I had my eyes open, so... I have no idea how much damage that does, which is probably dumb of me. Apparently sets us going AWOL, so that's okay too. Dang it, Avalanche. Hopefully that didn't hit Gao or something. I'll definitely make sure to check if I need a Phoenix down after this fight, because someone might. I think there's only one enemy left. It was clearly a Scarab Punisher... guy with white pants battle. Item. Phoenix down. If it was anyone, it was probably Setzer or Gao. I think uh, Celeste and Edgar can take it pretty well. Skills, Celeste, 
Wait, no, that wouldn't be Celeste, that would be Gao, because I just... Skills, Celeste, Magic, Cure. Well, s someone at least was fairly close to dead, if not everyone. <laughs> There's my Ice Shield. So, skills down to Equip. Equip, I'm still on Celeste, so I want to move down to Gao. Equip. Second slot, Ice Guard. Let's just move up to skills so I don't forget. And now, back out the same way I came in. Just a backwards U-shape. Actually, this is a forward U-shape, but whatever. Minor details. Up to the top. And now I have to go right and down. If I go down and right, I run into the staircase. And that's obviously no good. Thankfully, I'll know when I reach the end of this because I'll get the red cap. Another useful piece of equipment. And by useful, I mean useful in the near future rather than later. Hello, red cap. So, uh, apparently I needed to be on equip anyway. Equip... Uh, I think I left the cursor on Gao, but I'm not 100% sure, sure, so let's just be careful. Dried meat. Oh, Setzer doesn't need the dried meat because I just healed him. What a surprise. Skills. Down to, to Celeste. And of course I don't need skills. Equip. Celeste. Equip. Hat. Down two to the red cat. And now I should be good to go. Let's just reset my cursor to skills, because this time I will certainly be needing skills. Next. Left. Up. Left. Two. All the way down. This dungeon's pretty much all about setting myself up for easy... Uh, for long, easy walks. And in a way, that could kind of be said for the battles, too. Although it's not, like, super easy, because they do have some dangerous moves. This is sort of a Zerg Rush kill em before they kill me strat, but whatever. Edgar's Bile Blaster does so much damage here. I'm not even specking him as a magic Edgar, but it's still just Rex. I don't really think they did anything there, so I'm just gonna keep walking. Down. Alright, so I made it through that stretch. Up one step, all the way to the right. And now I gotta go around the twisty bridge here, because they really like their twisty bridges in this game. Down, right, down. Now I gotta step back up into the light. It sounds like I'm saying something religious there, but... I am most certainly not. And now all the way to the left. Good, there was a battle there. Otherwise, I probably messed something up. But I wasn't super expecting it there. It's nice that Edgar actually has some speed now that he has the stat stick and I think the Dragon Helm gives something... Setzer must have counterattacked because there's no way he beat Gao to the punch. Gao's like always gonna go first. Well, that scarab decided to hand out a parting shot, but all right, this time I'll heal. Uh, item just in case. When avalanche is yeah being thrown around, it's especially since Setzer already got hit, pretty easy for him to die skills, especially since, according to my test runs, everything seems to hate Setzer. Sless, magic, cure. It's like everyone hates Chris, except it actually has an impact on me at this very moment. All the way to the left. Well, it seems like I made it the rest of that stretch with, without incident. Hello, chest that contains something probably useful, but I forgot. Right one, up one, all the way to the right. This staircase part, it's just sort of like, 
Up one, all the way to the other side of the staircase. Up one, all the way to the other side of the staircase. <laughs> it's a bit like the area in the uh, Magitic facility, except it's not filled with enemies that are dangerous. Bioblaster isn't one-hit KOing things even when it hits a weakness anymore, but still pretty dang nice. Sitzer, however, is usually one-hit KOing, KOing things when he hits the weakness. Of course, it's a Scarab, apparently, so... That actually surprises me. I don't understand why I'd be hitting a... No, wait. They don't counter with Avalanche. I probably just used it normally. Or wait, that may, might have been a Colossus. They counter with Avalanche. It felt like a counter. Well, if Setzer wasn't dead before, he's probably dead now. That's okay, I think my Phoenix Down count can handle it. It's getting low, but it's not zero low. And the one boss in here, I'm not actually expecting to use any Phoenix Downs in that fight, so... Sitzer died, kind of as expected. I should probably put Float back on, although he may have died anyway, because that avalanche is pretty strong. Skills. Slash, magic, cure. Alright, so scroll down to the bottom. Alright, scroll back up to the top for later, otherwise I'll forget, knowing me. And time to continue on. So all the way to- I'm still going left here. Up one step, and now I go back to the other side. Gotta get a new indicator of my progress fairly soon. Because walking up here takes me quite a large distance. Left one, all the way up. Yeah, that battle took a long time to happen, so there's no way that I made a mistake. There's only so many places where you can run up that far and not run into a wall, so... Even in a dungeon like this one. Celeste isn't pulling out the big numbers right now, but she's fairly tanky, I guess, so that makes up for it. Ah, uh, whoops. Oh well, that was Celeste anyway, so I don't really care. Is this another Colossus, I guess? I only needed one of those to clear the rage. And was that, like, Discord or something? Because I swear I have no idea what that was. Oh, maybe it was Starlight, because the Colossi I have those. Hopefully Edgar didn't die. I don't remember exactly how powerful Avalanche is. Item. Phoenix down. Yep, Edgar died. Edgar is not supposed to die, but whatever. Uh, skills. Slash magic cure. Thankfully she's got a buttload of MP and this dungeon isn't too long. And she's not using it for anything else at all. Which is kind of nice. I like having an out-of-battle healer who can even cast float because I have a ridiculous amount of MP. Alright then, so I'm still running up. I was probably close to the top considering how, I ran, how far I ran before I got that fight. So now I'm probably at the top. Hello, shield. Wait, no, you're not a shield, you're a chainsaw. I'm sure I could use a chainsaw as a shield if I tried hard enough. You just have to believe in yourself. And now, the one thing I messed up after my first test run where I ran through, fighting all the battles, was I forgot that it was one step back instead of two here. Alright, so that's my cat hood that I'm not equipping right now. I want Gao to have all that evasion. The cat hood's not really doing me anything useful here on Gao. 
Alright, so if I just hold straight up, I'll end up in the same place for sure. So walk up, I mean walk right for, to get out of here. So now I go to... One, two, all the way to the right. And that just lines me up so nicely with this, uh, like, the exit here. The first time, like, my first initial idea was to go down one and then hold right, but that takes me all the way across that bridge, and that's horrible, so two is much better. So now I should be outside, which is where things start to get sucky, because I don't like all the six scarab battles. I'm not quite as well set up to deal with those. Left across the bridge. Dang it. It's debatable whether I'd want to use the Noise Blaster or not. It might honestly be a decent idea, but Edgar's also my main source of damage. And the Noise Blaster doesn't hold him back very long, so... But I heard a thunk, so I think that might have actually been a Colossus, which is... Welcome here, not so welcome in the cave when it's the worst battle, probably, I feel. All sets is probably dead. He simply can't take that buttload of damage from Avalanche from these guys. At least he does a bunch of damage, too. But these guys have still have tanky defenses. So, how many people died this time? Oops, I'm still on skills. Item. No one! That was lucky. I guess Cesar managed to take that avalanche with flying colors after all. Skills. Slash magic cure. Well, I wouldn't call that with flying colors, considering how much healing he needed, but... Still, I'm surprised he lived it all, and glad. But, now scare of time, probably. Well, uh, Sets is already counter-attacking. And whatever Sets just got hit by is probably gonna get another round of, uh, Sets or right after. The funniest thing is that I can't even tell how much damage Gao actually does, because Bad Breath and Bio Blast sound the exact same. Yeah, Cesar died this time, I'm sure. Actually, now that I think about it, Cesar might be tankier than he was when I walked in, considering... I... He might have gained a level or two after all. Then again, I never cast float on him, so that's that out the window. No, I did cast float on him. Item. Phoenix down. Yep, sensor needed it. I'm almost at the end, though. Skills. Less magic cure. Alright, let's just keep going. Left. I should only take one battle before I get to the save point. If I get two, I'm probably unlucky at this point. All the way to the left, run into this probably conveniently placed rock. I'm not 100% sure if it would be better to just run past the rock, but... Up. Left. No, I don't think it would line me up with the doorway. So anyways, now I should be in the doorway. My next indicator is soon. It should be the save point, so... Left. Up one step. All the way to the left. Unfortunately, there's a little dip in the ground here, so I've got to go around that. But other than that... Down. Left. Up. Safe point. Not flawless, but like it didn't go off without a hitch, but nor did it go poorly, so I'm not going to complain. Surprised Gal only gained one level. I thought it would be like 
two levels at least, but whatever. Let's save it. And see you later.